Okay, so I tack welded that initial piece in, you can see there. Then I put my string down here. I found my angle. Okay, I put a piece of tin on this pin because I, I really don't want to start cooking that epoxy that I epoxied that rod down with. So, at any rate, um, I'm setting it on my center mark. Okay, I took my angle finder. See, right on that center of that nail. Whoop. You can see that pin. Boom. And this, this, this is so hard with one hand. The edge of this has to be the center of this pipe. Okay. So, you can see I marked this piece. Okay. And this is cut on the disc sander flat. Then that's that's how I start. Remember, I want to be 90% there. So once I lay it in, now after you do this a while, you're not even going to need to mark it because you know that there's just an arc, right? But you can take your your marker and draw a little arc. But I basically, well, heck, let's just do it. I basically take this disc sander, okay. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I know I'm flat up against it. I start Tubes are round, not, uh, not flat, of course. So, now there's another operation I have to do yet. Remember, there's two curves on a circle. So, you can see... I'm slowly closing in, I'm making some progress, okay. So my arc needs to be a tighter radius, no problem. I got extra, I, I cut it long, okay. I want this really to be a nice looking fitting. So I created an arc here, but when I'm done, I'm gonna have to take this piece, cut a radius here and here on the tip. Because it sits, boy, this is so hard to do with one hand, right? It sits on here, so obviously that's not flat, that edge. And that's what that hand grinder is for. So I create the arc on the outside with the disc sander, and then I touch the inside with the grinder, and it's done. 